Hurry, hurry. <laughs> Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we have a new bottle from Tullamore. The Tullamore Dew Caribbean Rum Finish. Yeah, I did a bit of search research in that one because they said it's the Demerara rum casks and kind of a special rum cask. I looked it up and Demerara is a region of French Guinea. No, what is it? Yeah. Guinea mm -hmm. and some other regions in the so north. So it's Europe. Yeah, in, <laughs> it's Europe. Yeah, the Overseas department. It's uh, the north of South America. Uh -huh. And they also said it's Caribbean Demerara rum cast. So I thought, what? wait, 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 wait. Caribbean is like inside between North and South America. And actually the Caribbean are the Caribbean islands, the Caribbean seas, and some of the coast around the Caribbean sea. So this is on the North coast uh, of South America. Yeah. Uh, sorry, this might be owls to Athens because uh, you're telling most of the people they live in North America. I think they will know that. <laughs> ah, did you, most people in Mexico don't know that they belong to North America. They think they belong to Middle America. Ah, okay. But they don't. They're so, North American. So, and uh, in North, uh, in, in uh, this uh, French uh, Guinea, uh, there is the uh, rocket launch Ooh, yeah, facility launch of uh, Ariane space. So probably this is <laughs> rocket, rocket fuel. fuel. <laughs> 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 yeah. So uh, Talamore is a old distillery or formerly was an old distillery in Ireland that closed in the early 1950s I think I'm not quite sure the old stills from Talamo are still visible uh, on the roof of the uh, buildings of the old Kilbaggan distillery now they're uh, greenish oxidized copper and uh, there is still a visitor center in Talamore at the Cow and uh, there uh, they still had the name and the whiskey itself was produced in, well, at some other distilleries. Most of it was uh, old Middle, uh, New Middleton. Uh, and uh, then uh, the distillery, or the name, was sold to uh, William Grant & Son, the Scottish company which produced as well the Glenfiddich. And they decided to build a new distillery in 2012 and it was uh, put into action in September 2014. And now we have uh, April 2018, so more than three years. So probably in here is the first uh, spirit run through the stills of the new Tullamore distillery, which wasn't built in the old place, but in the community of Tullamore. Mm -hmm. So um, we don't quite know what's inside the bottle, if it's the new one, if it's the old one. It says it's a blend. So, so there should be some old ones, some new ones. Yeah, and some grain whiskies, some grain which whiskies. they produce, and some malt whiskies. We don't know where mm -hmm. they come from. And they say somewhere on here, they say it's a triple blend, but they probably reference uh, not that they do three kinds of blends, but they do uh, distill three times, which is the old Irish way of distilling whiskey that you have a triple distillation. Yeah, and it's called Talamore Dew, and it's in uh, D period, E period, W period. This is a shortage for Daniel's, Daniel Edmund Williams, the former uh, or the founder of the distillery. And uh, it was so famous that the people said, give me a dew. And people thought it, is, it would be uh, the morning dew. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a shortage of the name uh, of the founder of the distillery. Vanilla, definitely. A lot of vanilla. Lot so of vanilla. this is a second sip I have. Lots of vanilla. Yeah, second sip is heavy on the vanilla and uh -huh. sweetness. Mm. A little citrus in between, and after that there is some alcoholic note. Mm -hmm. The first sip was stronger on the alcoholic. Mm -hmm. Now it's it's much more round. And typically the normal Talamio have forty percent ABV, and this one has forty three percent ABV. Mm -hmm. That's 86 proof. Yeah, and it's a, uh, a relatively cheap bottle. It's below or in the mid 20 euros, dollars, pounds, I have no idea. The uh, the duty has a lot of influence on these uh, cheap bottles. No? Yeah, the, the cheaper bottles vary more with the mm -hmm. duties of the country. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, nice.
Hammer. Oh, very intense in spiciness, in, in oakiness. It's not an alcoholic sharpness. It's a spiciness. And then together with fruit and a little oakiness means bitterness in the back. Okay. Wow. This is from the flavor. It's much more intense than the first sip. Mm -hmm. You have much more, more spiciness, as you said, like a peppery note and uh, a sharp note. But also, when you have the first influence fading away, you get more of the banana, figs, a bit of dates. dates. Mm -hmm. So this might come from, oh, from the finishing cask. And uh, typically there is a, should be a rum influence. And uh, I have no idea where it might be. Mm. 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 Even First sip was much more fresher and more bit on the alcoholic side, but mm -hmm. like, like you would imagine from a rum. Mm -hmm. Most of the rums are much less mature than the whiskies. That's why I personally think that whiskey is more superior than rum because it has that mature feeling that round feeling that you're not making friends in the moment you know <laughs> <laughs> no, I, said, I said whiskey is better than rum yes Did I? yes yeah. there's still some rum friends uh, yeah. out there. <laughs> <laughs> you're wrong <laughs> mm. um, so rum for, for me i i agree whiskey <laughs> is the only uh, spirit in the world which shows a increase over hundreds of years mm. uh, with other spirits like uh, vodka, uh, gin, Sherry. rum, and so on. You always have a, a maximum somewhere and then a decline. Mm. Yeah, it's not that bad. No, it's quite nice. Mm -hmm. The finish brings a lot of taste in it. It's, qu it's quite good for such a entry-level bottle. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not a... A complex old one that you can sip for days and still find something new, but it's a, a pleasant yeah. um, evening. So, as you said, it's, it's quite cheap. Um, uh, it's colored. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so anything else? No. no. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please feel free to share, to share it with your friends and see you next time.